We call The Winter's Tale a romance because it's a kind of story that was written starting with the Odyssey but going through Greek culture in the third, fourth, and fifth centuries. These were stories about families that are split up. They're stories about coincidences, about recognitions and reunions. Um, they're stories that are very clearly stories about things that happen that are impossible or just improbable. And romance seems to have connected still with 21st century audiences in a way that maybe histories don't and maybe even tragedies and comedies don't. If you think of a story like Star Wars or the Star Wars series, um, that is a romance. It's about families split up early, uh, Luke and Leia are, are, are separated, and then somehow they recognize each other. So that's the story of romance. It involves going all over the world, it involves being rescued by pirates or being abandoned. Um, that's a kind of story that for some reason we still connect to. And I think the reason why modern audiences really love romance, in the old sense, not of people falling in love, but of a story about wandering and reunion, the reason why we still connect with that is because romance can unlock very primitive, basic emotions, those desires for, to see families come together. And they also take us to a space that is marked as unreal. One of the most amazing things about theater is that it tells us lies that we know are lies. And then as soon as we recognize that we're being told lies, for some reason we let down our defenses completely and just go into the story. I still can't believe that that works, but it does work. And what romance does is it gets right, right in the beginning. You know, we're 21st century people. We're skeptical. We look for evidence. We're often defended. I would say that um, maybe a Washington audience has seen, seen a lot of the world, seen everything, and is ready to push away anything that seems fake or unreal or manufactured, as pure spin, let's say. Well, what romance does is an end run around that. Romance is like an ambush. Romance says, come on in, I'm just gonna tell you a crazy little story about some things that never ever could have happened, and then boom, real emotions. Suddenly you're there, suddenly you care about these characters, and you're on the hook in a way you never would have been for a realistic story. That is magic. And it's a kind of magic that only works on a well-defended audience. That's what makes this a 21st century play.